Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to my channel, Frankie's Tarot. My name is Frankie, and I'm a fellow Scorpio. And we're going to take a look at what's coming towards you this week. What is manifesting for you? First, I'm going to look at the moon energy. We do have the new moon in Gemini showing up. And those of you new to my channel, I'm really big into the moons. And to manifest in, and I bring in astrology, I don't necessarily bring it into you, but it comes through my readings um, and what I'm picking up. So we're going to take a look at what's manifesting. I'm going to take a look at love and each zodiac sign for you, what to expect um, from each zodiac sign. Let's take a look for my Scorpios. What do they need to know during these energies? We are in an intense week. So much happening right now. And um, you know, Pushing forward into new territory, pushing yourself out, taking action, moving forward. If you're getting that urge, like, you know, we were in tourist season and we were just kind of going with the flow and figuring things out. And, you know, now it's like, let's go. I'm feeling the push. I'm like, I don't like to stay put. I don't like to stay in an in energy. I want to see change happen. I want to initiate change. I step up and lead for my Scorpios around this new moon. All right, reflecting on your priorities as well, too. And finding a balance. You got Libra energy, Capricorn energy, and Aquarius energy. So there is a lot about finding balance, too, and reflecting on your priorities. All right, so where are your energies being drained? Where are your energies um Where's your focus being taken from? What needs to be, where you need to be? All right, it's time for you to focus on what's important in your life. It's time to focus on what is going to improve your life. If something's not improving your life or something's draining you, it's time to step up and lead and you've got to push yourself through. It's time. That's six of swords energy that keeps coming through for me too as well. And it's sort of like there's just a six of the sixes for me. Six of Wands, Six of Cups, you know, Six of Pentacles, finding that balance, moving forward. But you've got to go. You got to break yourself out. If you got to find closure with certain situations and move forward, and it's time. Maybe you've got to be the one, even with people in your life, saying, "Hey, we're going this way. You're gonna follow me right now. All right, I'm going to pull us to calmer waters." All right, attuned to the divine, you have Pisces energy as well. So really listen into your, inter look at this, and push through any insecurity. Listen into your intuition right now. Listen into that voice in your head. Listen into the voice in your head. You keep hearing something. And I'm not talking about your limiting beliefs. I'm talking about your knowing about things. You're knowing about something. Something that keeps nudging at you, all right? Listen to it. Listen to that voice. There is no wrong path, only choices that take you closer to or further from love. Archangel Metatron, I mean, Metatron's underneath the Archangel Jophiel. Jophiel or Jophiel. What else is coming through? So you have Capricorn, Aquarius, Libra, and Pisces energy showing up for you. Some of you may have strong placements in them. Or you may be connected to somebody strongly with that. So some of those messages, uh, you know, if you are connected to each one of these zodiac signs, it is really about um, reflecting on what's important and what can we let go of. All right. Keep to yourself and be discreet about your plans for some of you. All right. There's this energy when we're trying to manifest or we're wanting to move forward and we're wanting things in our life. Sometimes if we tell the wrong people or if we push, if, you know, people are going to listen to us um, and they're going to direct us in the wrong path and we're not going to follow our intuition. So sometimes it's good to keep your plans to yourself until you figure out what your next step is or you get to the next step and then you can show the world where you're at, right? Uh, you're good at that. Right, being discreet, being you know, that's a secretive. You know, Scorpio is so secretive, right? Uh, no, we just keep to ourselves and we do our thing. All right. Um, 
So there might be something that you're doing or something that you can do or something that you're planning to do. And if you are not around the most supportive people in the world, you know, in your current situation, um, you know, and maybe you are around supportive people, but sometimes people, they will, their fears will, will offer you advice that may talk you out of something that you really want to do. All right. Be aware of your surroundings. Pay attention to things that are happening around you. Be curious about things that are happening around you. There's new opportunities coming your way. So you really want to keep an eye open and be curious during this period. All right. And energetic absorption and empath. If you're feeling um, stressed or heavy and you don't know why, uh, you're like, I have it pretty good. Things are going good for me, but damn, I just can't seem, I feel like I'm heavy. You know, you might be absorbing the people's energy around you. So this is why I am seeing it's like pushing through and, and, and navigate into new waters, get into a new space, get into a new place, get in somewhere where you can um, tell the difference of what's your energy, what's, what's their energy. Now, sometimes that can even be in a workplace. That could be anywhere you go. That could be a gym you go to. You just you keep going to the same places and you're like, I don't really feel inspired here, you know, or but it's the energy absorption of the people around you. So you want to always be in places that energize you, that make you feel good if you have the option to do so. If you're just staying stuck because, you know, you're you're lazy, don't want to go and move or move gyms or find a new job or whatever, you're taking on these energies and it's affecting you more than you know. What else is manifesting for my Scorpios? What's the themes this week? What's the themes this week? And then... Being mindful. Being mindful of how... People reflect back to you what's going on with you as well. Being mindful to how people experience you, listening, being curious to see what's going on. Um, being mindful of opportunities that are coming your way as well. Courage. It's like the Ace of Pentacles energy. The doorway is here. You got to have courage. Just go for it. Remember, the fool, you know, you can just go for it. And then if you don't like it, you can be a fool again and go another direction. You don't have to stay, right? You can jump in, jump out. Go for it. Oh, sorry, I don't like it. I'm going to go to the next place. You don't need to feel obligated. Once you make a choice, we have free will all the time. So there's an opportunity coming in for you to make some sort of change in your life and go somewhere, and you've got to just go for it. I mean, how far have you come in life? And, you know, we win some, we lose some, we start over, we, 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 we change jobs, we change our hairstyle, we change things. We don't like it. We grow things back. We try something new. But we have to keep learning and growing and trying new things and, you know, until we find what works for us. You have new supportive connections coming in, a lot of good people around you. So you move and you doing something or you go in a different direction, pushing through and, and go and explore this new territory. There's going to be some new adventure here and some you get some fun coming in for you as well, too. Love the energy around you. You've got this energy of the heart chakra green energy and you got throat chakra so i am really seeing being able to speak from your heart and communicate with people you want to be around people that you know you can do this with so if you end up you know saying something wrong or communicating with somebody or being uncertain about what you're saying right or you hurt somebody's feelings with something you say when you're around people that really love you or really support you they will try to see what's up what's wrong what's going on How, you know this isn't you what's can i can i help you can you know you want to be around people that are helping you grow expand heal flourish all right. We don't need to learn any more lessons anymore. All right. We need to move forward. It's time for fun. You need to bring some energy of fun into your life. You need to be around people who enjoy having fun, people who want to enjoy life, enjoy having fun, not people that want to stay with their heads down in the, you know, in the hole. All right. 
your higher self, there's that heart chakra showing up for you. So the heart chakra is really, really important. It's really important, guys. The heart is really important for you. All right. Taking steps. But I want to say first with the heart chakras right now, it might be a really good idea to do, you know, some work on your heart chakra and listen to your heart when it comes to making certain decisions, your higher self, where are you being called? What do you know? All right. Um, and what, what is your soul? What does your soul want? You are getting closer to your end game, Scorpio, with this taken steps card. All right. You're getting close to that milestone. All right. Closer than you think. Right, just stay focused and keep moving forward and don't be afraid to, to move or make these changes, initiate these changes that you need. Let's see who might be coming towards you. We're looking at love now. All right, let's look at love. So the Ace of Pentacles can be a new job, a new home, a new move, um, a new pathway. Um, lifestyle change. New relationship. The world card. You've got the Ace of Cups. All right, so you have a beautiful energy of love around you coming in this week. The Three of Cups. The Six of Cups. One, three, six. How awesome is that? King of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. That's your energy, Scorpio. All right, taking steps, following through. You may need to step up and lead when it comes to a relationship. All right, make things happen. A Hierophant leveling up here. All right, so we see a beautiful energy around love this week. Uh, love coming in for you. Um, from now, the next six months, things really blooming uh, when it comes to love. From this new moon, uh, we started this in the new moon Taurus energy on my channel. Like it's it, really, we set a lot of attentions already. Now it's time to reset and you're getting closer and you're taking steps. The Three of Cups and the Six of Cups is showing a memory, something that you're, this is going to be a week of an important date, an important memory. All right. There can be an energy of reconciling. There can be an energy of playfulness, forgiveness showing up. Um, you have this energy of being around very love and supportive people. So there's these aces, even with... Um, your general read, Ace of Pentacles, new supportive connections, which is like the Three of Pentacles. And you have joyous fun leading you to a more exciting life, right? Now you have the love portion, which is the Ace of Cups, the Three of Cups, and you have the Six of Cups, which is fun too. It's turning over a new leaf. It's having a good time. It's not setting any expectations and it's just following your heart. And being playful. So there's a soulmate energy around you. And there could be an energy, obviously, of being able to find some sort of reconciliation, being able to find a balance here with that six of cups when it comes to love, right? being able to work things out. We have the two of swords. So I am seeing the problem here. There could be a difficult choice or, or you know, uh, you've had some sort of idea, you've something's gotten started, and now you're not sure which direction to go, or you feel like you're pulling your hair out. Well, remember, you've got step up and lead Scorpio so show the show the way what is it that you want in this relationship and when it comes to manifesting know exactly what you want believe that it's possible and step into that role and watch it play out for you any kind of fears doubts that are lingering and weighing you back will will manifest for you as well so you want to step up and break out of that we have the justice card. So we are seeing some sort of truth, justice, a balance coming in this week. Uh, there's closure here too. So finding closure with the situation and moving forward. All right. So let's see Aries through Pisces for you. How are they showing up for you? Their actions towards you and uh, your energy. So we'll, we'll see. Now, this is just a fun part with the Aries through Pisces, kind of seeing their energies. Meditate on the sign that you wish to hear about. Um, and if it doesn't resonate, don't take it. 
The first message is showing you the cards of the week when it comes to love. Very, very emotional week with all those cups. And, um, but this part here, it, you really got to, it's just the fun part, right? You really got to take what resonates and what doesn't. We got the judgment card here for love, all right? So heeding the call and making that choice, making that decision. You got an Aries coming in, page of swords, right? Their actions, eight of wands. You, the tower card, you might not even see this coming, all right? There could be a breakthrough, uh, something major, unexpected opportunity here with an Aries. Eight of wands is showing a lot of passion, communication, movement, Page of Swords, communication with that Eight of Wands. Very passionate communication from an Aries. Taurus, we have the Star card, all right? The Two of Pentacles and you, the Knight of Pentacles, all right? So this is about you staying focused and leading the way. The Knight of Pentacles leading the way. Taurus, the Star card, all right? They desire they the same thing. You guys are in alignment. The Two of Pentacles is making some sort of plans this week and initiating and going. Gemini, Page of Pentacles, the Lover's card, and the Five of Wands. All right, so let go a little bit of control when it comes to Gemini. All right, you might have conflict or, or you might be feeling some, some tension. The Lover's card, all right, the Page of Pentacles, they, they want to get to know you. All right, they're wanting to move a little bit slower. They're coming in here. The Lover's card talks about communication, and it talks that you guys are on a deeper level with each other. Cancer, the strength card, the seven of wands, and the fool card. All right, so there's a block between you and a cancer, right? You guys both have your guards up. Uh, cancer's holding back the strength card, all right? They're trying to act all cool and stoic when they still care or they care about you or there's a deep bond or they feel the bond. They feel, um, they, they, they feel it. You, the fool card, all right? So this could be you maybe moving on from a cancer, finding closure with the cancer um, if they're not going to let down their guards or let down the block, right? So you may be deciding to go navigate, um, lead the way. Now, what I'm going to say about this when it comes to manifesting is that when you decide to let go and move on and just say, see ya, you will see how fast people decide to step up. Leo, the Nine of Swords, a lot of regret here, the Six of Wands, and you, the Devil card. All right, so there is a very competitive energy. There's a very um, negative energy here showing up. Uh, release the toxicity, Scorpio. Um, there's a lot of regret. There's a lot of guilt. There's a lot of shame. There's pain. It seems like a Leo has caused some pain. Um the six of wands here in the middle here it's competitive but with the devil card um it's showing just it's it's showing arrogance okay with the devil card uh so it's causing too much pain it might be about finding closure and moving on from that releasing that uh that story that toxicity and moving forward um we have virgo eight of pentacles we have the Five of Cups. We have the Page of Cups. Neither of you like being apart, right? You both are focused on the past. Um, you both have a lot of love for each other. Your Virgo here, you know, might be trying to keep themselves busy by focusing on something else, but uh, expect some sort of messages and from a Virgo, all right? There's a lot of love there. Libra, the Queen of Pentacles, very loving and nurturing, the Ace of Pentacles, Libra, Libra, Seven of Pentacles, looks like making plans with a Libra here, all right, there's a Libra in the future for you, there's, uh, you know, growth here, and there's, this could even be a friendship too as well, but we do see a promise in the beginning here with a Libra, Scorpio, the Hierophant, the Three of Pentacles, and the Hermit card for you. All right, so you have a Scorpio coming towards you. There's a commitment. They want a commitment. They want to work on things, uh, work together. This could be a new Scorpio that's coming in. Um, you seem a little bit distant, though. You seem a little bit down, and this is about you weighing out your priorities and choosing the right path, choosing which path you want. 
Sagittarius, Three of Swords, the Temperance card, and the King of Wands. The Sagittarius is still in love with you. Seems as though they want to restore balance with you. They're holding on, and they're hoping um, that you guys can reconcile. Capricorn, Eight of Cups, the Four of Wands, and the Ten of Swords. So things may be ending between you and a Capricorn, but it's bringing you guys closer together. So it's not going to end for long, all right? So maybe it's about letting go of uncertainty and the pain from the past. And the Four of Wands is showing you guys rebuilding and reaching a milestone. Aquarius, Five of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, and the King of Cups. All right, Aquarius is going through a hardship. Uh, you guys are not letting go of each other. There's definitely... Um, you're in a good place. You're the king of cups. So it seems like just staying grounded and calm and uh, staying yourself and just trusting your intuition when it comes to an Aquarius. They may be dealing with their own financial issues and things like that. Pisces, the nine of pentacles, the five of swords, and the seven of cups. All right, you're uncertain about a Pisces, and a Pisces seems as though they like their independency. All right, the Five of Swords is shown a no-win situation. Uh, you may be placing too many expectations on a Pisces with that Seven of Cups, you know, and it, that could be where there needs to be some change. All right, there's some stress between the two of you, and it could be because you're expecting more, you're wanting more, and they can't give it. All right, we have the judgment, so it is about making a decision this week when it comes to love and stepping up and heeding the call. So good luck, Scorpio. I love you. Let me know if the rest of the messages resonate and come back and tell me if it all worked out for you. Take care.